Believe it or not, I have so many videos on my phone, it is pretty much full. So this is going to be a really quick update on this little project. Uh, you see I built this beautiful high-tech fixture. I modeled it um, pretty much after what they use in China when they do this job. So, you know, it's pretty exact and accurate. And So I got the uh, bezel separated from the unit, which was kind of a pain. Um, the glass was in such bad shape that it was chipping off, and I'm actually concerned that shards of, gla shards of glass may have gotten through to the LCD and may cause me problems when I go to run my wire through. Um, we'll see. Um, it all came apart pretty easy. A little bit of heat peeled off. I'm going to have to get some new tape. Some of it stayed on the glass. Um, no biggie. I might actually even get a new bezel. I don't know. We'll see. So that's where I'm at. I'm about to uh, heat this sucker up from this side. I have a thin uh, mandolin st string strung between two T-handles. And I'm going to heat it up and then saw back and forth and hopefully separate it. And then I'm going to test before I go any further to make sure I didn't botch the LCD. Stay tuned. What a pain in the butt. <clears throat> so my fixture worked well, except the glue that's on this thing is stickier than anything I've ever seen in my life. Like you run the, you know, I ran the string through, cut straight through, no problems, and then <laughs> The first part that I cut through was already rebonded. I mean, this stuff is so darn sticky. And you can see, you know, shards of nasty glass. I was really careful, really careful not to not to pry on it and try to, you know, dig into the LCD. And, and as of right now, it still has glue on it. It looks similar to what I've seen online. Um, you know, I don't know. You can see a couple spots that are clean that are, you know, that, that the glue is so thick and and stuff. It, you know, I'm sure it protected it to some extent, but I got it all apart. Uh, used the heat gun a little bit. And I'm going to, I got a little bit of uh, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, just kind of dripped some on there, letting it soak in a little bit. And then. I'm going to just try to clean it a tiny bit. I'm not going to get into it too much right now because um, I don't have all the stuff I need. But I am going to try to fire it up, <laughs> see if I got any display. So well, I'll, uh, I'll tape that. See what okay, happens. I got the LCD without the touch panel uh, plugged back in and the battery back in. You're about to see if this works with me. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen. It might not even fire up without the, the, the digitizer hooked on, but we'll find out. I don't even know how to push the button. Oop, there we go. Heck, it's doing something. No idea how I'm going to turn it off. Guess I could just unplug the battery. That probably won't mess anything up, right? <laughs> you can see the uh, backlights coming on. Huh. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty darn good. It's so sticky. <laughs> um, well, it looks like it works. Holy crap. So I didn't destroy the LCD. I don't think. Where the heck's the button? That's... Oop, there it goes. There it is, on, off, on. Let's try the volume here. Right, volume's not doing anything, but that's because it's locked, I think. Well, there you have it. Uh, you can separate the glass from the... Um, from the digitizer 
and it still works. Now, oh, there's the volume. Now it's working. I was really hoping that I could uh, get this thing to power off without having the touch screen. But I think I'm just going to have to pull the battery. But anyways, there you go. It works. Now I'm going to put a little, um, I'm going to find whatever I can to clean that off and get her back together.